splendor of a king clothed in majesty let all the earth rejoice let all the earth rejoice he wraps himself in light and in darkness tries to hide and trembles in his voice Oh, 
say thank you for bringing me through that week Lord Lord that week was something else Lord there was a lot of trials there was a lot of troubles there was a lot of tribulations but Lord we know what you said and your word is good to us Lord you said that you will hold us carry us and make sure everything is fine Lord and we believe your word Lord for this we say thank you Lord Lord you woke us up this morning Lord not only woke us up but Lord you also made us able to move around our limbs are good able to get up not just wake up and we thank you for that Lord Lord this pandemic is going around, Lord, but we still say, Lord, thank you. We know that the outcome is all grateful. We know the outcome is going to be something good. Lord, we know the outcome is going to be so, so powerful, Lord. Lord, we are all apart, Lord, but we know that we are all together in one. And, Lord, we praise your name in Jesus' name and everything we ask to you, Lord, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, let's give God the praise. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. We give him all the glory and the honor and the praise. Hallelujah. We thank God for blessing us to see this Sunday morning. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, we're going to turn to our morning hymn, hymn number 264. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. The burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith. I received my sight, and now I'm happy all the day. If you are grateful for the cross, will you hit that love button for us? Hit the love button if you're grateful for the cross. Hallelujah. Alas, and it my shame and did my sovereign That sacred head for such a one as I were at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart fell away. 
Lamb of God. At this time, we're going to have a welcome coming from our own deacon, Carol Reed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. First, give an honor to God and to our pastor, the Reverend Dr. Brian Odin Bellamy, and to all whom honor is due. We, the members of Friendship Missionary Baptist Church, would like to welcome our visitors, our church family, Amen. anyone visiting us with the, for the very first time, and our Facebook friends. Amen. May you be blessed by our service today, and thank you for sharing with us. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you're a first-time visitor, will you let us know in the comments, this is our, I'm a first-time visitor. This is my first time on the broadcast. Let us know that. And then, Friendship, make sure you put a like or a love on there. Let them know that they're welcome to worship with us, even virtually, until we can come together again. And then let's take this time to show love to one another. Uh, right there in the comments, you can say, good morning, Friendship. God bless you, friends and family. Show some love, because Jesus said the world will know we're his disciples by the love that we have for one another. So let's show some love at this time. Oh, on the sea of life, there are many ships, fellowship, relationship, partnership, and hardship, but there's no ship like friendship, we welcome you, yes we do, we welcome you. There are many ships, fellowship, relationship, partnership, and hardship. There's no ship like friendship. Oh, we welcome you. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We welcome you. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We welcome you. Welcome, 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 and God bless you. Amen. 
It's always an awesome time to be in the house of the Lord uh, and to be gathered uh, with our brothers and sisters uh, virtually in the house of the Lord. We can't be in the same building, but we can be on one accord and gathered in the name of Jesus and in his presence. And we thank God for that. Hallelujah. Amen. Just a few quick announcements. First of all, we thank God for blessing us to see a brand new day, a new week, a new month that we have never seen before. We are in the month of June. Amen. Already in the month of June. And uh, at this time, we want to celebrate all June birthdays. And so if you are born in the month of June, will you kindly let us know in the comments? You can write, I am a June baby, or you can write my birthdays in June, however you want to say it. And then uh, everyone, please show them some love. You can uh, click like or love on their status to show them some love. And we're going to sing happy birthday to them at this time. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, everybody. Happy birthday to you. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of the June babies. God bless you. Welcome, welcome, and happy birthday to you. All right, at this time, we want to remind you, that we are still, while we're still sheltering in place and not meeting in person, we are beginning uh, our phase in planning with the leadership. And at this point, we have about five phases <laughs> as we prepare to come uh, back together for worship. And so uh, we will be publishing a draft uh, to the full leadership uh, shortly. And uh, then we will make the draft available to everyone so that you will know how we will proceed as we prepare to come back together uh, to worship once again in the house of the Lord. In the meantime, I want to urge you to stay safe and to be wise. Remember, our very first Bible study uh, after shelter in place. Uh, was from uh, the scripture, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power, love, and a sound mind. Please use your sound mind. There are many people who are going out now because the weather's better. It's like they feel that the, <laughs> the pandemic is over, but people are still uh, unfortunately getting uh, very sick. And so we want you to please be safe, stay home when you can. And when you do leave, make sure you're not going into large numbers and please wear your masks, wash your hands and let us use our sound mind. Amen. Uh, we are also uh, planning um, a summer feeding program right here from the church. We will be giving you more information uh, beginning next week where we will be able to serve the people right in this community uh, uh, who are in need of food. And so we praise God for that. Amen. With regards to giving, I want to share with you that we have uh, uh, two opportunities for you to give. We actually created a third on yesterday. We had a communion pickup and tithes and offering drop off. But if you are giving today, uh, you can do like me and um, you can give through Givelify uh, electronically. Uh, that has been uh, a blessing to me. I can give just as I'm giving my uh, paying my bills. I can put God first with my tithe and offering. You don't have to wait until Sunday. However, if you want to continue to give traditionally, uh, you can mail your tithe and offering uh, in the U.S. mail uh, to Friendship Baptist Church, uh, P.O. Box, uh, excuse me, Friendship Baptist Church Attention Trustee Ministry, P.O. Box 6422, Henry, Connecticut, 06517. Again, that's uh, Friendship Baptist Church uh, Attention Trustee Ministry, uh, P.O. Box 6422, Henry, Connecticut, 06517. Uh, if you want to give electronically using your card, a debit card, or your bank card, um, you may do so through Givelify. The link to that uh, uh, opportunity is in the description to this video. Amen. As I share with you every week, let us please remain in prayer for the uh, those who are sick and, and bereavement. Uh, we want, also want to pray for our country and for the world and for the protest uh, and the protesters. Um, and we pray that uh, justice would prevail in the land and that God would have mercy on us and have his way and that he would keep us in his care. Let the church say amen. amen. All right. This at this time, we're going to continue our worship. Amen. We're going to have uh, Minister uh, Massaquah come back. Uh, with a hot selection. 
Amen. And then we will come back with the word. I do want to remind you that after the word and the invitation and altar prayer, we will be taking the Lord's Supper. For those of you who did not pick up a communion kit on yesterday, you are fine to use personal items in your house. And so for the bread, you may use any kind of bread. You may use a cracker. And for the juice, you can use any kind of juice or you can use water. We're going to have one of the deacons pray over our elements all together and we will take the Lord's Supper together. But do be advised that on the Saturday before each first Sunday, we are going to have a communion pickup for those of you who would like the communion kit. Amen. All right. Come on, Minister Massaqua. Do you have Jesus this morning? Yes, Lord. We have so much thing in the world, but if you don't have Jesus, you ain't got nothing. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank God for Jesus. Can you put your hands together? Right. Man, I got Jesus down in my heart. I said, man, I got Jesus. I got one, 
one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one, one
Then he left them and went out to the city of Bethany, and he lodged there. Amen. Amen. With all that is going on in the world, I want to give a reflection on this morning, asking the question, how would Jesus protest? How would Jesus protest? Amen. Amen. And those of you watching uh, uh, on the broadcast, will someone put that in the comment section for those who are coming late to church so they can know what the subject is? How would Jesus protest? Brothers and sisters, following the murder of George Floyd, a 46-year-old black man by Derek Chauvin, a white police officer who knelt on Floyd's neck for over eight minutes during an arrest on May 25th, 2020, there has been an ongoing series of protests, marches, and demonstrations against police brutality and racism in policing. Protests have taken place in every major American city and in several other cities, villages, and hamlets. People are protesting on every inhabited, inhabited continent on the earth, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, all over the world, people are crying out, no justice, no peace. Unfortunately, there are some who look beyond the beauty and power of this moment who desire to silence the cries of justice under the guise of ending riots sparked by righteous indignation and the looting by both the poor and the opportunistic. Concerning the riots which began in Minneapolis where George Floyd was lynched, the president of the United States took to Twitter to write, these thugs are dishonoring the memory of George Floyd. And I won't let that happen. Just spoke to Governor Tim Waltz and told him that the military is with him all the way. Any difficulty and we will assume control. But when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Thank you. Then on Monday, June 1st, after declaring himself the law and order president, uh, the president cleared uh, uh, authorized the clearing of a group of peaceful protesters at Lafayette Park right across the street from the White House using military force so that he could pose with the picture of the Bible as a show of strength. These people were denied their First Amendment rights of peaceful assembly as they were dispersed by their own government with the use of rubber bullets tearing the flesh off of their body and thrown uh, uh, pepper balls containing an irritant powder and chemical agents that are designed to produce tears, difficulty breathing, and burning sensations on the skin. Beloved, I'm sent to remind you today that there is no inherent evil in protest. Protest can be a good and godly thing. Protest is a display of united power by the weak to fight against the marginalization and uh, 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 against their marginalization and oppression. Amen. Without protests, the colonizers, the exploiters, and the oppressors would win the day. Mm -hmm. The people who seek to oppress you and exploit you will not give you your freedom out of the kindness of their heart. You have to summon the courage to say something and to do something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in times like these, protest is necessary. Yeah. Uh, protests, uh, even further, I would present to you that the tradition of protests is firmly rooted in the Bible. Amen. Uh, 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 in Exodus, God tells Moses to go tell Pharaoh to let my people go. That was a protest. Then on Wednesday, we talked about the daughters of Zeholophad who confronted Joshua and the patriarchal system of the ancient Hebrews uh, where they would be left out of an inheritance because their father had no sons and they cried out, give us our portion. That was a protest. Uh, Esther went before the king risking her life saying, if I perish, I perish, but I'm going to spare the life of my people. That was a protest. Daniel and the Hebrew boys in Daniel chapter 1 refused to eat the king's meat. That was a protest. And Daniel 6, the Hebrew said, uh, boy said, if we get thrown in the fiery furnace, we will not bow down to the king's idol. That was a protest. And, and, and Daniel, Daniel says, if I get thrown in the lion's den, I will not cease to pray to my God. That was a protest. And what we find in the text today is that even uh, Jesus of Nazareth, there came a time in his ministry when he too protested. In Matthew chapter 21, verses 12 through 17, we find that Jesus has just completed his triumphal entry into Jerusalem. 
that exuberant celebration that we commemorate on Palm Sunday where the people praised him as he entered the city. And uh, after this event, Jesus went directly to the temple, to the house of God, uh, where people were to pray and bring sacrifice to reconcile themselves to God from sin. Instead, throughout the temple courts, there were people there price gouging the cost of doves to be used as sacrifice, as well as money lenders who were committing usury, loaning money to people at rates too high to pay back. Today, we would call them loan sharks. Well, verse 12, uh, well, verse 12 says that Jesus went in there and when he went in there, he flipped the tables of the money changers over and the seats of the those who sold doves and he drove them out of the temple courts, declaring in verse 13, it is written, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. Then the blind and the lame came to him in the temple, and Jesus healed them. But when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things he did, and the children crying out in the temple and saying, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant, and they said to him, Do you hear what these are saying? Mm -hmm. Jesus said to them, Yes, have you never read out of the mouths of babes and nursing infants you have perfected praise? Then he left them and went out of the city to Bethany and he lodged there at Bethany. And I will present to you today, beloved, that what Jesus does here in the text is a clear example of protest. What does Jesus protest first? Jesus uh, 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 protests the abuse and exploitation of God's people. Uh, when they would come to the house of prayer, instead of being able to pray and to make sacrifice, uh, 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 instead they found people who were praying on them, not P-R-A-Y-I-N-G, but P-R-E-Y-I-N-G, praying on their economic vulnerabilities and lending them money at rates that they could not afford and, and for their sacrifice, gouging the prices of the doves so that many could not even afford to pay for a sacrifice. Jesus protested the exploitation and abuse of God's people, but he also protested the neglect of the things of God because uh, with all this going on, people weren't able to pray like they needed to pray. They weren't able to make sacrifice and worship God and connect with God like they needed to. And so Jesus protests the neglect of the things of God. But why does Jesus protest? Why does Jesus protest? Well, I believe that there are a few reasons Jesus protests here. First, beloved, Jesus protests uh, 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 because the poor were being exploited. Amen. The poor were being exploited. The temple, which was the house of God, had become just another place for greedy men to make money off the backs of the poor. People were already broke. Then they came to God's house and borrowed money from the uh, money changers and, and, and the loan sharks who charged them interest rates that they could not afford to pay back. A similar practice to the American banking system, which caused the mortgage crisis in 2008. A similar practice to elite colleges and universities that charge $120,000 for a $5 education. Mm -hmm. A similar practice to the payday loan business, which takes a carnivorous bite out of the checks of the working poor who are anxious to make ends meet. A similar exploitation to the American criminal justice system, where the rich get off and the poor go to jail. A similar exploitation to the cash bail system, where those with the means go home while those without stay locked up and they lose their job and apartment and custody of their children. That day in the temple, Jesus protested the exploitation of the poor. But not only that, beloved, Jesus protested because those in need of health care were neglected. <laughs> those in need of health care were neglected. Check this out. The text says that once Jesus drove out the money changers, that he then brought the poor into the house of God and the sick into the house of God. And he ministered to them through healing. He healed them. Amen. Jesus protested the practices of the money changers because they took up space in the temple that was needed by people who needed to be reconciled to God for their healing. Amen. This means that the people, the money changers put profits 
over people's healing and health and well-being. A similar practice to the predatory cost of American health care. A similar sentiment to those who want to undo Obamacare or the Affordable Care Act. Amen. A similar practice uh, to one aspirin tablet in the hospital costing $18. A similar practice to hoarding stockpiles of ventilators while thousands of Americans are fighting for their next breath. A Amen. similar circumstance to the many people who have to choose each month whether to pay their rent or refill their prescription that day in the temple jesus protested those in need of health care their neglect their Amen. neglect but then beloved jesus protested because religion was being abused and repurposed religion was being abused and repurposed the money changers were pimping the house of god or the house of prayer to make a dollar yes those who sold doves for sacrifice at gouged, unaffordable, inflated prices reappropriated the religious practice of sacrifice to suit their greedy and self-ambitious agenda. Just like those who repurposed religion to whitewash their white supremacy. Just like those who hide behind religion to hate people who are different from them. Mm -hmm. Just like people who authorize the dropping uh, 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 of chemical agents on peaceful protesters uh, to take a photo holding the Bible backwards. Just like people who claim that God is on the side of their political party. God is not a Republican or a Democrat. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. He's the first and the last. He is the one who is and who was and he who is to come. God is God all by himself. Amen. Somebody ought to tell your neighbor in the comments, God is God. God, God is God. You can't re, you can't use God for uh, your political agenda. God is God. He reigns. He rules. He has control. He has authority. Tell somebody in the comments, God is God. And so lastly, wow. beloved, the, the last question we want to ask is, how does Jesus protest? Yeah. And by application, how should we protest? Mm -hmm. Well, first, I want to point out that Jesus put out everyone who was exploiting the people. Right. And note that when Jesus came into the temple, he didn't ask permission for them to be put out. Right. He walked in. <laughs> Flip the tables over like some of you used to do before you got saved. Flip the table over. <laughs> knock down the chairs. Flip the tables over of the money changers. Knocked over the chairs of those who sold doves. And he put them out. Beloved, we're going to protest. We're going to put some people out. Now, let me stop and say, Pastor Bellamy is not telling you to go over to somebody's house and flip their tables over. Don't do that. You will go to jail. Amen. <laughs> but we can do like Jesus and put some people out. You, 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 you can't go into the temple and put them out. But in November, you can go in the voting booth Amen. and put everybody out. Yeah. <laughs> That's exploiting God's people. Yeah. Tell some, tell your neighbor in the comments. Put them out. Put them out. Put them out. That's how Jesus protested. Put them out. But then number two, he kicked over the loan sharks tables. And he destroyed the stalls of those who sold dust for sacrifice. What does that mean? Well, what he does there is he makes it so uh, that it, it, they can't just come right back to their evil practices after he leaves. Right. Mm -hmm. And so if he just said, you all get out, leave, leave and left their tables up and left their chairs up. As soon as Jesus left, they would have came right back to the same practices. No, Jesus flips the tables over. He pulls down the chairs so they can't just come right back. So what does that mean? That is representative of dismantling systems of oppression, Hallelujah. systems of oppression. This made it so that they could not come right back to their evil practices and, 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 and just like that we need to create strategies to to pull down the tables of classism pull down the tables of sexism pull down the tables of racism we need to create strategies to dismantle oppressive systems but then ultimately beloved uh, Jesus protests by restoring the temple to its holy purpose Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, 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 when Jesus got through driving out the evil practices and and those who were perpetrators of evil uh, the Bible says that he then brought in those who were sick and those who were afflicted and he ministered to them. Jesus and he healed them. Jesus refocused the temple to bring the people of God uh, uh, and bring the people to God instead of separating the people from their money. 
And so we have work to do in the kingdom of God. We have work to do Amen. even in our country. And I just want to say the way to make America great again is not to focus on, on wealth, but to focus on people. Amen. Because Amen. America Amen. is the people. Amen. You can't make America great while exploiting God's people. Amen. And so with all of this, how shall we protest? Amen. What shall we do? And the simple answer is we've got to be like Jesus. And everything we do, we have to be like Jesus. And normally when we make this sentiment, uh, we spiritualize it. We say we want to walk like Jesus. And I don't know about you, but I do want to walk like Jesus. And uh, we say we want to talk like Jesus. I don't know about you, but I certainly want to talk like Jesus. Uh, I thank God for sending his son Jesus to be our uh, uh, healer, to be our savior, to be our road map, to be our role model. And everything we try to do, we ought to try to be like Jesus. But I want you to know that we can't just stop at walking like Jesus walked. And we got to do more than talk like Jesus talked. But if we're going to be like Jesus, we got to protest like Jesus. How do you protest like Jesus? Well, first you got to get mad. You got to get mad that a police officer placed his knee on the neck of an unarmed man for over eight minutes. Racism ought to make you mad. Poverty ought to make you mad. And I just want to point out to you that in the body of Christ, our witness to the world is not as strong as it should be and not as strong as it could be uh, because we're not mad at the things that we need to be mad about. We get comfortable with sin and comfortable with oppression. But if you're going to be like Jesus, seeing somebody who's broke down, get broken down some more, it ought to make you mad. Tell your neighbor, be like Jesus. And somebody in the comments say, let's get mad like Jesus. Yes. Tell your neighbor in those comments, get mad like Jesus. Get mad enough that you want to see a change. Get mad enough that you want to make a difference. Get mad enough that you help somebody register to vote. Get mad enough that you open your mouth and be a prophet and speak truth to power. We ought to get mad like Jesus. But not only that, if we're going to protest like Jesus in November, let's cleanse out the temple. Yes! And let's cleanse out the temple and put out those who would oppress us and exploit us and pray that God would raise up a holy nation because when our protest is holy and when it's righteous and pleasing in God's sight I'm a witness that God will hear our cry yeah and he'll turn protest into praise. That's what we see in the text. Because when Jesus got through protesting and put out the oppressors and put out the exploiters and put out those with self and ambition, the Bible says that the poor and the sick and the afflicted would come in to God's house and experience the grace of God and God healed them and when the people got healed the Bible says that the children started crying out Hosanna to the son of David and the chief priests when they heard the praise they got mad and said Jesus do you hear what they saying Jesus said I hear it but did you read in the word out of the mouths of babes and nursing infants you have perfected praise yes after Jesus successful protest of exploitative practices in the temple the people's needs 
were ministered to. And when they got through, they gave God the praise. I don't know about you, but I'm going to protest. I'm going to declare what God says to the powers that be. And when it's all over, I'm going to have a praise. I got a question. Is there a praise? In the building, is there a praise on Edward Street? Do you have a praise watching in your living room? Do you have a praise watching in the kitchen? Has the Lord been good to you? Yes. Do you have a hallelujah? Do you have a thank you, Jesus? I don't know about you, but as for me, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. Oh, 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 he has done for me. My soul, my soul cries out. Hallelujah, my soul cries out. Thank you, Jesus. My soul cries out. Glory to God. Thank God for saving me. Thank God for keeping me. Thank God for loving me. Thank God for having my back. Thank God for making a way. Thank God for bringing me through. Thank God for seeing me through. For if it had not been for the Lord on my side, I would not be here today. But since I'm here, I'm going to give a praise. Give a praise. Hey, give a praise. Hallelujah. 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 When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me my very soul cries out hallelujah thank God for saving me Hallelujah. We want to extend an invitation at this time. If there's anyone here who does not know Jesus Christ and the pardon of your sin, and you want to be saved, if you want to join that righteous and holy protest, it begins by first having a relationship with Jesus Christ. Ah, it begins with being saved. How do I become saved, Pastor? Well, the Bible says in Romans 10, 8 through 10, the word is nearest even in our mouth. If we confess with our mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, we shall be saved. For with the heart one believes and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And so you can be saved today. All you have to do is first believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is the Son of God who died on the cross for our sins. If you believe that, you are halfway there. The second thing is you must make a public profession of your faith. You need to tell someone that you know by faith that God has saved you. And so if you want to be saved today and you already believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, I want to lead you through this prayer and I want you to pray with me this sinner's prayer. If you have never been saved, if you've never been saved, pray this prayer with me. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I thank you for being God in my midst right now. Say right now I acknowledge I am a sinner in need of a savior. Say I believe you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross to pay the price for my sins. I believe that he rose on the third day. I believe that because of Jesus I am forgiven of my sin. Say, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you would come into my heart, that you would save me, that you would fill me with your Holy Spirit, and that you would use me and fulfill your purpose in my life. 
all the days of my life. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And if that is your first time praying that prayer, just let us know in the comments, the Lord saved me today. You can write in the comments, the Lord saved me today. That's your public profession. Let the church know the Lord saved me today. And then beyond that, if you would like to become a member of this church, you don't have to wait until the end of the pandemic. You can unite with us right now. If you want to become a member, just write in the comments. I would like to become a member. I would like to become a member. All right, so let us know. If you got saved today, write in the comments. The Lord saved me today. If you would like to become a member of Friendship, write, I would like to become a member. And either way, we will be in contact with you to give you information about connecting with us. We offer Christ to you, oh my brother. We offer Christ to you, oh my sister. He will give you brand new life. He will give you brand new life. New life from us. He will give you brand new life. He will give you brand new life, new life of us. Say that again. He will give you brand new life, new life abundantly. So come, so come, come on, come on to Christ. Amen. We praise God that one has professed salvation today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Sister Oniki Amora, God bless you. We're going to be in touch with you. Amen. About being saved. God bless you and to God be the glory. At this time, we want to go into altar prayer. If there's a need in your life and the, or the life of someone you love, you can just bring that to the forefront right now. We're going to go into altar prayer before we take the Lord's Supper. Sister Mabel Thorne, we're going to ask that you would get in touch with Sister Onikia to get her information. Amen. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, we come to you truly grateful for your goodness, your kindness, your mercy, your love, and we thank you for being a God who answers prayer. You hear so well that while we are calling, you are already answering. And so we thank you right now for having mercy on us. We thank you right now, Father, for modeling protest. We don't just protest anything, but we protest the things that are aligned with your will and your word. And Father, we know as long as we stand on your word, we will never fall or falter. And so help us to stand on your word concerning issues of justice and righteousness and holiness in this season and help us to stay away from all foolishness and all evil. Right now, Father, we thank you for uh, 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 giving us strategies, for raising up prophets in this generation and for having your way in this land, Father, so that your people whose backs are already broken will not be further exploited, but will be restored and brought into the temple and be made whole. Now, Father, we thank you for hearing our cry and hearing our prayer as someone right there in the kitchen, in the bedroom, in the bathroom, in the living room, or here in the sanctuary is calling out a name or a situation. You know all about it. You know where they need healing. You know where they need deliverance. You know where they need a breakthrough. And so right now, Lord, we thank you for making a way out of no way for moving by your power and having your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, we trust you. We put it all in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, we want to ask, we're going to prepare to take the Lord's Supper. We want to ask uh, Deacon Cal Reed to come uh, with the Lord's Supper reading. Amen. Those of you who are here, make sure that you have one so that you can respond with her in the reading. Amen. And then uh, we're going to have Deacon Reddish to come back to pray over the elements. And so whether you have a communion kit or you have your bread and your juice at home, your water, we're going to pray over it together. And then we're going to come back and take the Lord's Supper together. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus. In my soul, oh, for I have touched the hem of his garments, and his blood has made me whole. Oh, I tried, Lord, all that I could. Get your elements ready. 
Seems like nothing would do any good. And I heard Jesus was passing by. Then I decided to give him a try. Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, it is Jesus. Yes, it is Jesus. It is Jesus. It is Jesus. Supper affirmation. As we come to the Lord's table, let us come with the spirit of humility and penitence. Have mercy on us, we pray. Let us examine our thoughts, our actions, our motives, and our attitudes towards others. O oh, holy God, have mercy on us and forgive us our shortcomings. As we eat this bread, which represents your body, Open our eyes to the intimacy that you yearn to share with us. O oh, loving God, teach us to love you above all else. As we drink the cup, which represents Christ's blood shed for us, we thank you for the new covenant. Love one another, which is written on our hearts. Let us rejoice because our names are written in heaven. And Heavenly Father, may your great sacrifice of redeeming love Renew us for loving service and sacrifice for others. May this Lord's Supper energize every area of our lives and enable us to transcend our circumstances, our shortcomings, and our enemies. Touch and empower us so that our lives will be renewed. Shall we all read together? We praise you, O God, who made us your own people through the death and resurrection of your only begotten Son, we praise and glorify your holy and righteous name. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Our Father who art in heaven, yeah. hallowed be thy name. Yeah. Lord, we just thank you for another first Sunday in this month. Lord, we thank you for just waking us up this morning in our right mind. Stay it on you, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for you, Lord, who created the heaven and earth. Lord, who died for our sins. Lord, we just thank you for your blood, for the wine, Lord, that represents your blood. We thank you for the bread, Lord, that represents your body. Lord, we just love you. We praise you. We magnify you. We lift up your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it is Jesus. Oh, it is Jesus. It is Jesus in my soul. For I have touched the heaven of his and his blood has and his blood and his blood and his blood has and his blood has and his blood has, and his blood has here we are for the sixth time this year. Amen. Taking the Lord's Supper. Amen. We uh, at churches have different rituals behind how they observe the Lord's Supper. At this church, we began every month, every first Sunday, taking the Lord's Supper so that we can begin our months reminding ourselves that the essential matter of the church and of our faith is that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross for our sins. He shed his blood and gave his body to be broken for us. 
The Apostle Paul teaches that as often as we do this, we show forth or remind ourselves of the Lord's death until he comes. We are grateful for this reminder. Amen. Before the pandemic, uh, uh, if you weren't careful, you would forget that the church was about God. It's sometimes, you know, you, you think it's about us Amen. and our programming and our planning and our events. But in this pandemic, there's no tease. There's no anniversaries. There's no. Uh, programs. All we have is Jesus. And that's what the Lord's Supper reminds us is that at the end of the day, all we have is Jesus. Uh, but as Minister Master Quas saying today, I'm glad I got Jesus. Have him down in my heart. The Bible says that in the night in which Jesus was betrayed, he gathered together with his disciples that he might observe with them the, uh, the Lord, the Passover. At that dinner, he took the bread and broke it and said, take and eat. This represents my body, which is broken for you. Let us all now take it and eat it. Likewise, he took the cup of the fruit of the vine and gave that which represents his blood shed for our sins. Let us now take it and drink it. We say hallelujah for his body. Hallelujah. And we say hallelujah for his blood. Hallelujah. The Bible says that they then went out to the Mount of Olives singing a hymn. We don't know what they sang, but we're going to sing a little bit of this. Give me C sharp. Uh, no, give me B flat. Ah, uh, give me C. Ah, uh, redeem, 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 church I. Tell me when Jesus was having his last Passover, disciples were resting up on his shoulder, spoke these words and they were right. One of you will betray me tonight. They began to wonder, how was this and which of us would do this awful thing? They tell me John cried out, Lord, is it out? Peter cried out, Thomas cried out, and James cried out. Church, Judas being that deceitful man it was, Peter betrayed another innocent man for 30 pieces of silver it was done. Out in the woods himself he hung. They tell me Pilate's wife had a dream about an innocent man that she never, never seen. He said, give me some water, I'll wash my hands, I won't be guilty of an innocent man. Well, they hung him high and they stretched him wide and he bowed his head for me he died. But that's not how the story ends for three days later. Rose again, redeemed, 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 redeemed. Church, I, I've been lost in the oh, I'm having hard trials. I've been redeemed in great tribulation. But I'm thanking my father for free salvation. I'm bad, my brother, in the heat of the day. Stretched out on the promise. God told me he make a way. I've been through the water. I've been through the flood. I've been through the fire. But I'm washed in the blood. Said I've been through the water. I've been through the flood. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire. I've been through the fire. Hey! But I'm washed in the blood. I'm washed in the blood. I'm washed in the blood. Wash, wash, wash. Wash, wash, wash. Wash, wash, wash. Wash, wash, wash. Oh, redeem, 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 redeem. Church, I, I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We're getting ready to go. Amen. Uh, it has been about four months, three months since Desi's been to church. She got up this morning and told mom she wanted to go to church. So we brought the family. So this is Ruby's first Sunday morning in church. Amen. Ruby, say hi, friendship. Amen. Say hi, friendship. All right. Desi, say hello to friendship. Amen. Hello from the Bellamy. Hello. Amen. God bless you. Say hello, First Lady. Say hello. <laughs> All right. Our hearts and minds are clear. 
Amen. May the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest from the Bible with us henceforth now and forevermore. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us all sing. Amen. 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 Hit that love button. Show some love on your way out and say a good evening, goodbye, love you, and farewell to your friends. We'll see you Tuesday night uh, on our prayer call, and then Wednesday night Bible study. God bless you. Um, oh, glory, glory, hallelujah, since I laid my Oh, <laughs>